Are you unable to see anything through your telescope? Are you frustrated and feeling like it's really hard to handle it and actually observe something through it? If you're just starting out in astronomy or even if you've been observing the sky for a while, there are some mistakes that could be ruining your experience. My name is Luis Miguel Azorin and I welcome you once again at Natural Portraits, the YouTube channel dedicated to nature and natural photography, in the broadest sense we can imagine. Today I'll tell you about the worst mistakes made with an astronomical telescope and how to avoid them. If you've just arrived at this channel and you're passionate about astronomy and the night sky, you're in the right place. Subscribe because here you'll find weekly content about astronomy, astrophotography, and nature in the broadest sense you can imagine. Let's go over these mistakes that might be ruining your observing experience. The first one is poor collimation of the telescope. One of the most common mistakes is poor collimation of the telescope, especially in reflector telescopes. If the collimation is off, the image will appear blurry and distorted. It's essential to check and adjust the mirrors regularly using a laser collimator or a collimation eyepiece. Checking the collimation and adjusting it in every observing session will ensure sharp and focused images. And we will be making the most of our equipment's potential. Secondly, not leveling the telescope properly. A poorly leveled telescope is dangerous. It can make you lose objects in the sky because the telescope won't be able to track them properly. But also, it's dangerous for the equipment itself. A telescope that is systematically poorly leveled, that is, a telescope that we do not bother to level in any session. It will end up straining the tracking motors, causing them to not work properly and potentially leading to breakdowns. Always, make sure to place the telescope on a stable surface and level it correctly before starting your observing session. Thirdly, exceeding the theoretical magnification of the telescope. Many beginners think that higher magnification means better views. But that's not usually the case. Any telescope can be set up with any number of magnifications. The magnifications used in a telescope don't depend on the telescope itself, but rather on the combination of eyepieces and lenses that we attach to it. However, each telescope has a limit of effective magnification, which is usually around two times the diameter of its aperture in millimeters. Using excessive magnification will only make the image appear blurry and dark. Sometimes it's better to use lower magnifications. To have a brighter and sharper image, Fourth, using low-quality eyepieces. In astronomy, it's often said that the final quality of a telescope depends on its weakest element. A good telescope with low-quality eyepieces will never give you a good image. Invest in quality eyepieces to improve sharpness and contrast. There's a huge difference between using low-quality eyepieces and using quality eyepieces. And much greater when we observe through high-quality eyepieces, although these are expensive and we will have to find a balance. Also, avoid the plastic eyepieces that often come with some basic telescopes. I'm sorry to say it like this, but those eyepieces are worthless. At the very least, get yourself a set of PLOS eyepieces, which are great in terms of quality and price. Fifthly, not giving the telescope time to acclimate. The acclimation of the telescope is essential, and even more so with large telescopes. If you take your telescope from a warm room to a cold night, the temperature change will affect the image quality, causing turbulence. Air movement inside the telescope itself will cause the image to appear blurry and out of focus. Set up your telescope 30 to 60 minutes before you start observing and let it acclimate properly. You'll notice a big difference. Sixth, not protecting yourself from light pollution. City lights can ruin your stargazing session, especially if your goal is to observe deep sky objects like nebulae or galaxies. Some very bright objects can be seen from the city but, believe me, there's a big difference between observing them under light polluted skies and doing so from a dark sky. If possible, look for a place with low light pollution, or if that's not an option, use specialized filters to improve image quality. And in seventh place, not taking the SING forecast into account. The SING is a scale that allows us to measure the level of atmospheric turbulence at a given moment. Have you ever been on a plane and noticed the turbulence? Well, that can also be seen through a telescope, and it affects our image. If the atmosphere is unstable, the stars and planets will appear blurry and distorted. Check the SING forecast before planning an observation session. If the forecast is bad or very bad, don't even bother. 
But if it's good or very good, go for it while paying attention and not making any of the mistakes I've mentioned earlier. Avoiding these mistakes will help you get the most out of your telescope and enjoy the universe much more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more astronomy tips. We'll see you again next week with more nature and photography here on Natural Portraits. Goodbye.